Hello and welcome to a new episode of WFL Tech Talks. Today we are talking about measuring in the Milton. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to WFL Tech Talks. Today we are talking about measuring in a mill turn, but above all how precisely measurements can be made. How good a machine is depends on how well the processes are calculated and how precisely the measurement results can be processed. Today Daniel Taylor, application engineer at WFL US Branch give us more insights into measurement cycle processes and their advantages. Welcome. Mr. Taylor, WFL has many options focused on in-process measurements. Um, what solution does WFL offer in this area? Many solutions um, and we'll make solutions for you if you need a special one. Um, so it's very broad and wide application uh, for our integrated probing that is developed in-house um, and it's very tailored to the Milturn platform because that is what we produce. Um, you can automatically transform uh, and orient work pieces into the correct position if they are out of alignment by any means or let's say for uh, setting up your, your work piece you can automate uh, positions and things of this nature. When it comes to castings and forgings with surfaces that might not match or be very inaccurate uh, what maybe a blueprint says they are, um, you can on the fly find these issues and cor correct them as well. So um, it offers you uh, big flexibility when working with parts that have unknowns about them um, and being able to adapt to those in real time. Impossible things for humans to measure like a whole position to uh, a diameter where on the machine it would be really hard and maybe impossible to get to that uh, measurement. We have solutions to compensate for temperature. Um, we have scanning solutions so that you can measure complex geometries and get a much more high resolution of detail, uh, a higher resolution and detailed information about your components and your surfaces and things of this nature. Um, we have laser scanning as well, where you can generate a point cloud and understand um, a very complex geometry and very quickly, but might take you a really long time otherwise. Um, what is an integrated probe and what are its benefits? So an integrated probe is a probe that lives inside of protected covers right on the head of the machine. Um, its benefits are that you do not have to remove a cutting tool from the spindle to take a measurement on a critical dimension on your part. So uh, that increases process security by quite a bit um, where you might have a tool, uh, if you remove it from the spindle to put a probe in and take a measurement, where you have a misalignment or you have the uh, or dirt might get underneath your tool or chips and you have a much stronger process security, there might be a misalignment of the tool and it uh, generally increases accuracy and decreases risks and problems. Uh, what are the um, capabilities of scanning probes? Uh, scanning probes have some interesting capabilities uh, anywhere from measuring the form of a gear tooth, the involute form of a gear tooth, to uh, measuring very complicated geometries uh, where you might have tangencies of radiuses that you cut on your part uh, that are not possible to really measure unless you're on a CMM machine. Um, you get a much higher accuracy when you're measuring runouts um, and things of this nature. Uh, with uh, WFL's integrated measurements, many things become easier and faster. Uh, ultrasonic measurement improves the process enormously. Um, 
But what exactly is ultrasonic measurement and in which industry uh, is it, y do you use it? Um, I would say that it's not limited to an industry, but it's used more so in aerospace, um, where you need to have accuracy of bores, concentricities or concentric bores from the ID to the OD of a workpiece. Um, so during deep hole drilling and boring operations, you might have inaccuracies deep inside of your part and your OD is no longer aligned to the ID of your workpiece. And you can use an ultrasonic probe to measure the wall thickness. This is a thickness measurement and you can find where this deviation of the internal bore deep down inside of a bore where you couldn't measure normally is out of alignment and this uh, now gives you the option to fix it uh, in real time on the machine as you manufacture your product and in fact WFL has a patented solution uh, to cut a band to match the internal profile so that you can then clamp on your workpiece again and put it back into the correct and accurate position and save you a lot of time and trouble. Uh, WFL also has an in-process uh, calibration unit. Um, what does this mean and how does it work? Well, the in-process calibration unit is a device that lives in the work envelope of the machine. It has a temperature and climate controlled area. Um, and it's a standard, very high, highly accurate uh, device that you can calibrate your probe to eliminate any issues that might exist in the environment. For instance, heat, that sort of thing. You can uh, really get very exact measurements if you calibrate uh, using a device like this. And um, it will bring you much closer, if not exactly, to where the CMM would measure it. Um, it makes just the machine tool more accurate in general. Uh, another innovation produced by WFL um, is uh, the machine health check. Um, what is machine health, the ma machine health, and um, why do we need to check it? Ah, so the machine health is the overall accuracy and just quality of the machine tool uh, in regards to its axes and its may maybe its clamping elements and things that hold your part into accurate positions. Uh, and, you know, after there may be accidents happen and there may be a collision on the machine or, or a tool broke and it was, you know, a pretty hard break and uh, you need to know if the machine is acceptable and accurate to keep using. Uh, we offer a check that will allow you to very quickly and easily find out if all of your axes are aligned, perpendicular. Um, you can align, you can check the alignment of clamping elements as well as all of the different spindles and counter spindles that might be on the machine. Mr. Taylor, and now to our last question, uh, what are the general advantages um, of these probing systems uh, with uh, WFM machines? The general advantages are that you can bring your process to a place where you can close the door and maybe not forget about it, but come kind of close to that, right? Um, so you can increase your process security, um, you can introduce closed loop processes, uh, you can bring down the amount of inspection that you need to do and reduce surprises when you get to the end result and need to know things, things should come and be much more closely aligned with what the CMM machine measures, if not exactly the same. You can monitor and collect data, uh, historical data and also diagnostic data about workpieces, the machine's health, uh, a number of other things that you can then track through time. If you like charts and graphs, uh, you, can, you can look at exactly what's happening with your parts, the machine, and understand uh, trends and things of this nature that uh, allow you to compensate for issues of, in your supply chain, in your production, whatever it may be. So we can automate and adapt to uh, situations that occur on a machine or a workpiece in general, as I mentioned, forgings, uh, things of this nature. Um, 
and you can eliminate the kind of old school intervention that was traditionally done uh, in machining still sometimes but years ago as well and automate processes to bring you into the future. Thank you Mr. Zeta. My pleasure. Many thanks to Daniel Taylor for this interesting and informative interview. Thank you for watching. I hope you tune in for the next episodes of WFL Tech Talks.